Today on my channel, I'm sharing five Christmas themed DIY projects. And the cool thing about this is they're each under $5 to make. So if you're ready to create something fun, let's get started. On this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. For each of today's projects, I'm going to give you a cost breakdown. Now, I'm not going to itemize every single item, but I'm going to give you an idea of how much it costs me to make them. I do have stuff on hand like twine, paint, stain, things like that. So again, it's just going to be an estimate of the cost. Let's start off DIY number one by staining this Christmas tree wood cutout that I got from Dollar Tree. And y'all probably know the drill by now if you watched my channel before, but I'm just using Waverly Wax in the color Antique and I'm applying it by painting it on and then wiping off the excess with a damp scrap piece of cloth. I took off the little label holder on the front and of course I saved it for another DIY. And I gave the entire box tray thing a coat of Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And this glass jar is from Dollar Tree and I think the burlap is also from Dollar Tree. And I wrapped the jar with the burlap and the red ribbon. And the last step is to glue the wood cut out to the tray. Here's how DIY number one turned out. Now here's a cost breakdown. The tree was $1.25 and the all of this is from Dollar Tree by the way and the little box was $1.25 and the glass jar was $1.25. I did have the burlap ribbon and the red ribbon on hand and as well as the Waverly wax and the white paint. So I'm estimating it's $3.75 and then if you tack on a little bit for you know the paint and the stain and stuff maybe $4.50 so under $5. For the next project, I'll be using a wood tray box type thing from Dollar Tree. I always remove the stickers and using a heat gun makes it easier. And I've linked the one I use down below. And I'm going to be using the bottom of the tray and I'm painting it with Parisian gray. It's a really nice light colored gray and I decided to tape off the sides because I was going to paint the sides and the inside of the tray a different color and I didn't want it to overlap or anything like that and to tape off the bottom, which will actually be the front of my project, I'm just reusing that painter's tape I used earlier and I painted the sides and inside of the tray using elephant gray. I used my Cricut to cut out a decal of the first two lines of chestnuts roasting on an open fire. And I used my favorite expressions vinyl paper transfer tape to apply the decal to the sign. I promise I won't sing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> to finish it off, I'm just wrapping some twine around the top of the sign, adding a little Christmas wreath embellishment. And I had thought about painting the sides and insides into the color, but for now, I'm just going to go with the dark contrast. Let's talk numbers on this one. So the tray was $1.25. I already had the paint on hand. I had the vinyl on hand, the twine on hand. I didn't, I did have the embellishment on hand too, but it came in a pack. So let's just say a quarter for that. So you're looking at $1.50 so far for the, the tray and the little embellishment. Now, if we add a dollar for the paint and the vinyl and the twine, you're still looking at $2.50. So that's not, that's not really that bad. And, um, I, I did glue it, but I kind of left this so I could maybe make a double sided sign and put something else on the back. So that would be kind of fun as well. And remember, if you don't have a Cricut, you could use stickers to make this. You could trace it on, you could hand letter it on. You can get creative even if you don't have some of the supplies that I have. I'm going to take this cute little chalkboard sign. I got mine from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint the whole frame with crimson. Well, heck, you can paint it <laughs> any color you want, but I painted mine with Waverly Chalk Paint the color crimson. So if you're trying to copy me, do that. I used my Cricut and cut out this cute little decal. It's the letter J, a snowflake, and then a, a, the letter Y. I used my paper transfer tape to apply it to the chalkboard and I placed it a little nearer to the bottom. I painted the base of the sign white, Waverly Chalk Paint in the color white. And I painted these two little snowflakes white as well. I wrapped Baker's Twine a bunch of times around my hand to create a bow for the corner. And I attached the two little snowflakes to the ends of the bow. 
and then I hot glued the bow to the corner of the little sign. This little joy sign turned out so cute. I love it. The chalkboard sign was $1.25. I already had the vinyl. I already had the paint. And the, the Baker's Twine I actually had on hand too. But these little um, snowflakes, that came in a pack. So just say I used, I don't know. 50 cents worth. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember how much they were. I think they were a dollar 25. I think they were from Dollar Tree as well. So, I mean, you're looking at what is that? Um, 250. And so, just say 50 cents, a dollar for you know the extra stuff that I use. That's 350. Still, really good deal for a super cute sign. And I didn't do anything to the back, so you could actually make it double sided if you want to. And I wasn't really sure about the embellishment because I feel like it's needing something over here but you could even just like hand draw on the snowflakes if you don't have these wood cutouts there's lots of different things that you could do to kind of make this your own hey friends this video is part of a playlist it's the five under five dollars diy challenge it's hosted by missy from crafty cove diy emily from farm charm chic and the guest host this month is Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. The links to their channels and the playlist is gonna be in the description box below. DIY number four starts off with this Dollar Tree 4th of July sign. And you can really use any tag shaped sign, or well, for that matter, any shape sign you want. But I, of course, remove as much of that stuff off of the front as I can. And I did save the stars for a future project, as you never know. I painted it using Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson and I just painted the front because I'm going to cover the back with brown craft paper. And I used my Cricut again and you could probably like totally use stickers for this, trace it on or hand letter it. There are many, there's so many options for you when you're creating stuff like this. But I also like to reuse my transfer tape when I can. No sense in just tossing it if you can get another use out of it, right? But, um, so anyway, that's what I try to do at least. And the expressions paper transfer tape is less sticky so it doesn't pull up any of the paint when you're transferring on your decal. And I have a large wood snowflake shape and I'm painting it white. Okay, I wanted to show y'all what I had to deal with. I mean, I stepped away and didn't shut off the camera and this bull jumps up on the table and starts messing with the baker's twine and then he runs off with it. And then his brother starts chasing him and I had Baker's twine <laughs> like literally all over my house. And I'm sure it's my fault for leaving that twine out unattended. Maybe he thought I forgot it. Maybe he was bringing it to me, who knows. Either way, I got it back and I'm wrapping it around the top of this sign. And I do have to use hot glue to secure it down because it's on the angled edge of the sign and the, the twine kept wanting to kind of slip up. And then I just hot glued that snowflake to the top and that is it. This one y'all turned out so awesome. So this tag sign was from Dollar Tree. It was $1.25. Of course I had the vinyl and the paint on hand. I also had the Baker's twine on hand, but this snowflake came in a pack of, I think six from Dollar Tree. So just say, you know, I don't know. 25. Oh, and I also use brown crap paper, which I also had on hand, but you can get it for $1.25 at, at um, Dollar Tree. So, um, I don't know. I'm thinking like $3.50 for this project maybe-ish. I don't know. It's it's really hard to estimate because I do have the, all the supplies on hand and I have so much of this paint that, you know, it's really hard to kind of calculate that out. But again, less than $5 to make a super cute sign. And you could make one too. DIY number six uses this house shaped picture frame from Dollar Tree. I took it apart, I traced out the shape onto some craft paper and then I cut that out. My apologies for being in captain's way for this part, but I cleaned off the glass and I put it back in the frame, added the piece of craft paper that I cut out and put the backing back on. 
and I cut out another vinyl decal and this one says home and the O is replaced with the Christmas tree shape. Obviously Captain's still quote unquote helping me. <laughs> but, so while we are crafting, I wanted to invite you to my crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget and I run it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. It's lots of fun seeing all of the projects people are sharing in there and we'd love for you to join. The link is gonna be below. To embellish this piece, I'm just taking that same baker's twine that I've been using for this whole video, wrapping it around the top, and then I'm just putting a simple bow in the corner. I love how this one turned out, and I didn't glue the twine on, and so I could actually change this out, and I could just peel off these little vinyl letters and the vinyl shape and make another sign. But the frame was a dollar twenty-five, dollar twenty-five from Dollar Tree, and I had the twine, the vinyl I already had. The scrapbook paper was maybe maybe fifty cents from Hobby Lobby because I'm sure I got it on sale. I I rarely buy anything full full price, so fifty cents, dollar twenty, dollar seventy-five, and maybe let's tack on a dollar for the other stuff. And it wasn't even a dollar, really. Seriously, I would say two dollars. So $2 to make a super cute sign that you could change out and make for different seasons if you wanted to. And plus, it's a frame, so it's going to stand up by itself. And I think it turned out super cute. Let me know what you think. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you had fun watching me craft and create these DIYs. It's five DIYs under $5 each. And it's part of that challenge playlist. I'm going to have all the links down in my description box below. I hope you check them out and tell me which one is your favorite. Tell me what you would do differently. Just, you know, leave me a comment. If you wanna follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, it's, my handle's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.